All right, there we go. So it is uh, connected up. This water looks rather clean. So I'll turn the controller on. We'll see if we got power. There we go. All right, we got power. Now let me record. Okay, guys. Here we go. Let's see, it's a little bit shallow here. There we go. Now with this boat, you've got to make sure the canopy is uh, securely put on. This one is a uh, very tight fit. Looks like it needs a bit of steering trim here. I've got the sun in my eyes. Let me just uh, trim that to the right. There we go. So I can see we've got plenty of lag. On the video, this definitely isn't one to FPV. It's full throttle. Pretty cool little boat. Just keeping it within Wi Fi PV range. And I can see the video is recording. I'm going towards that fountain there. This is meant to have about 150 meters range, guys. I've actually had this charged up sitting for a while because, like I said, I was hoping to review it soon after that unboxing video but I went to the power station and like I said before that inlet of water that was there was the tide must have came in after the storm and just washed all that water out back to the Indian Ocean so I haven't had time to go into any other ponds around this area uh, the clo other closest one that I used to go to is about 25 minute drive away this one's rather close and it's usually dirty, uh, but as you can see, the water's quite clear. It's cleaned up after the recent rain. So it's pretty cool. I like it. It's pretty quick. And we've got the added Wi-Fi FPV. Like I said, you definitely don't want to uh, just go through that fountain. It's not one that you'd probably want to uh, you definitely can't FPV this thing. I can see the lag is, uh, let me just stop there for a minute, just see if the camera catches up. You definitely can't FPV this with a set of box goggles like they advertise. The lag is way too much. So I'm just going pretty slowly here, as you can see. You can see me there on the shoreline. If you're cruising around, you can take some stable video. Got three minutes worth of video there. Let's just cruise around through that fountain. I'll go around it. See how the video turns out from that. Full throttle. Good controls. I like this uh, transmitter. It's very much like an RC car transmitter. It's got a nice grippy uh, foam sponge on the on the wheel. Nice tight left turns here, as you can see. Do some right hand turns. Right hand turns are a lot sharper. Look at that. <laughs> It's almost flipping over. This has got the anti-flipping uh, capsizing function. The anti-capsize rather, where you can actually flip it back over. 
little rooster tail coming out of the back. You know, guys, these, for the price, these boats are pretty fun. You know, they're pretty quick for a little brushed motor too. They're nothing like the brushless ones, but these are really cheap, affordable boats. I've got a few of them now. And what I like about this one is that it's got the camera on board. Although you can't use it for FPV, it's good that the, the camera's on board just to record some footage. Rather than trying to mock up your own setup like I used to do with my Phelan uh, FT-01, no, no, FT-007. There you go, I hit that, <laughs> I hit that uh, old tree, little tree branch stumps there. And there we go, we got out of it. That was a perfect example of the anti-flip function there. I just hit the little stump sticking out of the ground. So I'm going to save that recording. This has got photos as well. So uh, let's have a look at that. Got photos. Let me take a few photos of the app. Go out there a bit. Get closer to the fountain there. Take a couple of photos. This is pretty cool. Use the app to take some photos of the area. See how it picks up the reflection of the fountain there so yeah this boat like I said it's got a pretty long range longer range than the FPV will give you no doubt let me bring it in close take a photo of myself on the shore there I am there bring it in a bit closer again See how the camera is like. It's supposed to be 720p. Alright. Let's take some video again. Which is let me see. This one. Okay, take video again. Might trim it up a little bit better. Let me just sneak up to these uh I think they're baby swans. Try not to startle them. <laughs> He's taken off. So there you go guys, JRC FPV S4 Spectre boat, that's the speed you're going to get out of it, there's another duck there. Let me just bring it in close range. So some nice turning circles on this one. Yeah, awesome little boat. You know, you got your Wi-Fi FPV to record your your videos. Although you can't use it as a proper FPV to actually drive this boat, I wouldn't recommend that at all because you're going to get major lag and you're going to run into something that's for sure with the frame skipping and the lag we've still got good power 
still recording as far as it's showing me here. We'll do one lap around that fountain and I think I'll bring it in guys before it does go flat on me. I'm not going to run it right down to nothing. I'll wrap it up around here guys. Let's just have a look at the turning circle once again. I can feel it's losing power now. And here we go, look, we've got a alarm system on this one. I had a feeling there was, but I wasn't 100% sure. So that's awesome, another great feature, guys. I like it when these new, new uh, little boats have got the added feature of this alarm system to let you know the LVC warning. All right, so let me turn that off. Let me, I've uh, got another three minutes of recording there. So I'll put that down. All right, well, that was quite enjoyable, guys. Uh, I've been wanting to, I've been wanting to take a boat out again for uh, some time now, and especially this one, because I, I hadn't finished the review on this one. I apologize for that too, that I never got around to it sooner, but, uh, Perfect day here out here today at this local pond. Must be the cleaner in here. I'm actually might go and fly one of my deep wood friends here right now. I've actually got it in the trunk of the car. So anyway guys, not too bad at all. Um, obviously I'm gonna have to look at the footage, how it turns out full screen and in post-production I'll put this video up that you're watching right now in this review uh, portion. So um, Look, it performed pretty good. It performed like any other um, little boat of this size, little brush motor boat. And uh, I like the addition of the FPV system. It's just good to, um, it's definitely not good for FPV as far as putting the box, a set of box goggles like they have advertised on the box of this one. You can't, there's no way you can actually drive this on the water with those goggles with your phone inside. I definitely would not recommend doing that. But to capture some footage and photos, or see how the photos turned out in the gallery, it's pretty cool. While you're having fun just, you know, boating around like you would any other boat of this size. All right, guys, so pretty cool, 720p camera. And uh, I'll leave the link uh, down below if you want to check this one out yourself. This one came from Gearbest. You probably get it everywhere else as well. I'll put the Gearbest link in here since they provide this one for you guys and I'll have another a look at some other viewers as well and uh, yeah thanks very much for watching if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe hit that notification bell as well and you'll be alerted whenever I drop a new video so I hope you enjoyed that review of the JJRC S4 Spectre RC boat Wi-Fi FPV alright guys I'm out of here have a good one enjoy your weekend bye for now